Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary people, today we are taking a request from Rose from our community on how I do this cool camera zoom. Wow! It's quite simple and easy, but however, uh, this tutorial is going to be a little bit weird since I'm recording OBS, so I have to have two windows of OBS opened, one being the recording software and one being the dummy software. So, uh, we're going to walk through how to set up on a random scene of mine, and uh, unfortunately, you're just going to have to take my word for it afterwards, because af this has already been preset, but I digress. Any which way, let's dive on in. But it's like multiple times today, so let's just get this over with. First and foremost, you will need the Move Transition uh, plugin. Basically, what you're going to do is, if you've been a part of my Bikubot tutorials, you probably already have this. If not, uh, I will just have it in the description below. All you're going to do is click download. I highly recommend if you don't know what you're doing or you're new to this, just click the installer. It gives you an exe file. It will just automatically install it into your plugins folder. If not, you would just download the Windows zip file or the Linux one or the, the Mac computer one. And then you'd have to locate your, your plugins folder and then put it in there. There are tutorials out there if you do it that way, but a lot of people nowadays are using the installer. So. We're going to move on. Once you get this installed, I should preference you should not install this with OBS on. That is a bad idea. Make sure OBS is closed. Make sure it's not running. And then like after the install opens up, you should be able to do this. So we're going to move on. This is our dummy OBS for the tutorial. What we're going to do is we're going to move. We're going to move me. So what we're going to do is we're going to come on down to uh, you can pick any random scene, really, like I did just in game mode for the tutorial. We could do chill for today. Uh, you can try to put it in your VC area. However, the problem I've been facing is sometimes the commands do not work. So I've been just embedding it into certain themes. So I, I only really use like chill and game mode, so it's a little, little bit easier for me. It might... Your mileage may vary, I should say. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to your scene that you wanna embed it in. Uh, you're gonna come over to right click and then you're gonna click filters. This is gonna bring you bring up the scene filters. You're gonna hit the plus symbol at the bottom left and then you're going to be able to see move source. So you're gonna click on move source. You can name it uh, zoom. I'm going to name mine Move Zoom VC. And it's now created the Move Source. What you're going to do is you're going to see in general, you're going to click Source, and then you're going to pick the source that you want to move. We're going to pick VC, because that's what I named my, uh, my avatar thing. Next thing you're going to do is you can look at easing in and easing out. If you just want easing in or just easing out, you could do that. You could do no easing and just do a solid jump cut. Uh, I usually prefer easing in and out. That gives you that nice kind of woo effect. Uh, easing functions. Uh, the, the ones I usually recommend is cubic and quadric, the top two right here. Uh, but if you kind of Google it and figure out which ones you like, uh, teach their own it kind of varies but cubic's pretty fine cubic is what you've been seeing on screen the main bread and butter to this is get transformation or get transform i mean what you're going to do i'm going to put this off screen real quick is you're going to click on the source so we're using vc face so right now this is set to our stationary position i would like to call it so we're going to stretch it out a bit. Yes, I know the fish tank is in front of it. Give me one quick second to fix that. This is live tutorial stuff. I don't prep this ahead of time. Look at that. We also have the 90s TV in the way as well. Let's just drop that right on down there. Cool. So now we have that there. So it's blown up on screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to click transform. Get transformed. It is going to put in these coordinates for that zoom. Now what you're going to do next, I'm going to take this off screen again, I do apologize. You're going to click on VC face, or whatever your avatar is, and you're going to right click, go to transform, reset transform, or you can hold control R, and you're going to reset it to its default value on screen. 
the default value is, for example, for nesting in the scene, is going to carbon copy whatever you did in your scene. Because I nest everything, it makes it a little bit easier for me to control. Uh, it goes back to this default setting. Give me a second to come on back to chill. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it right where we want it to be. So let's say, go right here, I wanna stretch this up a bit. That looks like about where we had before. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm gonna bring it back on screen for you, is we're gonna scroll down. You're gonna go all the way down to actions. It is going to be in this following order. Start trigger, none, not started automatically. Use a hotkey or next move to start this move. Stop trigger, none. Stop only when the move is done or the filter is disabled. Simulation move. Click it, zoom VC. Or none, I think it copies the actual source that you have a filter on. But I digress, keep it on none for the second until we until I mess it up during the tutorial. Uh, next move, you're gonna have set to reverse. Next move on, you're gonna have hotkey. And then you should be good to go. So then you just hit start. There you go. Now the seat's moving. But wait, how do I do this with another object or another thing? Well, I hear you saying that you want to use your, your hockey command or give it a second. Oh, look at that, a stream deck. How cool, how fascinating. Let's come on down to where I put the zoom key. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a hotkey or a hotkey switch. All you really got to do is put in the hotkey that you have. So we're going to do zoom. I'm actually going to see if this one works because I'm having a couple issues with uh, stream deck right now with this command. So you're going to pick a key. I usually do for a key something that I'm not going to touch. That is my key. Just a bracket. Used to be Control alt c and Control alt v because it would be extremely hard to hit that during game. However, it still takes the C command and the V command during games. So we're going to make it like that. Now the zoom key, or the other one I have, is you see hotkey one, hotkey two, really is if I press it multiple times. But I'm just gonna test to see if that works. But once you set this up, it's basically straightforward. It's just gonna mimic a key for you. So what you're gonna do next in OBS is you're gonna come to settings. You're gonna come on down to hotkeys. You're going to find the scene that you've just made that filter. So we're gonna go down to chill for me. I know I have 50,000 things going on. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Hey, okay, we've now come down to chill. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. You see zoom, uh, zoom VC. I'm gonna click that. Oh, I've already used that key. Don't worry. I'm gonna switch it to, I'm gonna clear it real quick. The other key, that the other bracket, the right bracket. But basically what you want to do is make a command like Control alt c Control alt c or something and then just be able to have that there. You can do uh, F keys like F13 to F24, but I'm not able to find it on my computer right now. But those can also be defaulted to being used into stream uh, deck as well. So uh, that's basically another alternative to getting uh, the, key, the hockey created. Once it is created, all you have to do is hit apply and bada bing bada boom, it should work. So now I'm pressing the right bracket and it is moving on screen. However, you might be asking yourself, well, why don't I do the whole thing like the cat and the, the monster? I could. Uh, but again, it's just going to be adding more more zoom features and more hotkeys. So for right now, I have that set up. This is kind of temporary as an idea, but I know a couple people like Nutty had done a tutorial on it, and uh, I figured I would try this out. Any which way, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this stupid tutorial that I made, because I know it's not great. I've been having some issues with this. But I feel like it brings an extra like level to uh, to the the stream. If you're able to pause real quick, talk to your people face to face, and then cut back to your gameplay.